Good morning everyone and welcome to my channel. Um, for today's video I have another day in the life with me. It's me and my kids and I want to document these last days of me being on my baby bonding before my daughter turns one. If you don't know, um, after you have a kid, at least this is for how my job works, <laughs> after having a kid you have 12 you have your maternity leave and then you have 12 weeks of having baby bonding time and I am at the end of my time I have split mine up into two different sections I used three weeks at the end of last year so at the end of 2022 thank you Ada and now I'm using the not the remainder because I still have some time I could use so I was going to this is going to be my last week I was going to go back next week and then be on a week of spring break so I just extended it a week and decided to just take the rest of my time and go back to work after spring break. So I do have three weeks remaining, but my last two weeks will be with Pedro. So I'm going to just soak in this last little feeling of like a stay at home um, mom of, I don't know, like stay at home, single mom week. Because all I do all week is just take care of my two kids. So I'm going to enjoy this. Um... The kids actually slept in today. We didn't get up until almost 8 o'clock. Like, I looked at my clock and it was like 7.45 and then 5, 10 minutes later, Jared I woke up. And then 10 minutes from that, Ayla woke up. So, it's... I'm not sure what time it is, but we're just getting our day started. So, I wanted to take you guys along with us. Mm. Alright, let's brush our teeth. I have some clean teeth. I'm going to start with you. Ayla, you'll be next. Hey, Daniel. Don't suck the toothpaste, okay? Right. Open. Daya, you do not eat the toothpaste. Don't be yelling at me. <clears throat> All right. Um, if I'm just being honest, I've been wanting to do a better job at brushing the kids' teeth twice a day. I typically get down to like once a day. It's usually in the morning or at night, but I'm working on it because that's even a bad habit I have for myself. Um, but we are gonna clean diapers at this time. Um, I checked the time by the way. It's eight thirty. Jada, I need you to get down. I need you to fix your stool. Pick your stool up, please. No, the other stool that goes to the toilet. Alright, pick up your dirty clothes and put them in the dirty hamper. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Find some chonies, come on. Turn your light on. I know I still have a bunch of laundry that I need to put away. That's actually a goal for today is put away th their laundry and my laundry. Look over here because I don't think you have any. Find some Spidey Chonies over here. That's a goal of mine aside from um, washing the dishes today, cooking dinner obviously. But I also want to put their clothes away because they've been sitting on the floor for a few days. Chonies, Daya, Chonies. Look for them. Move the clothes around. Don't throw them. Just move them around a little bit. This is what the playroom is currently looking like. Toys are a little bit everywhere, but this is not bad for me at all. If you haven't already seen my toy rotation video, I would definitely recommend watching it. It's just me showing you how I do a toy rotation, and I believe I, I tell you guys why I do it. It just really helps with like daily cleanups in the playroom. Our playroom is to the point where if I don't clean it up the night before, like it's not horrible. It just... The toys aren't in the right spot to be able to play with correctly. I'm going to head over to the living room so I can clean them up and make some breakfast. In case you haven't seen my videos or, you're not, or you don't know, I have a two-year-old and an almost one-year-old. My daughter will be one next month and my son will be three in August. And, um... <clears throat> Jedediah is like... 85 to 90 percent potty trained. He knows how to use the restroom. He knows how to take a dump and pee in the toilet He knows what the restroom is. He knows he knows the expectations um, He has a hard time telling us still even if we ask him he'll say no, but 
I just take him frequently and I just make sure he's drinking as much water as I can get him to drink. And I try to, yeah, we're gonna get you some water right now. I'm go I try to time like when he would normally go poop, which is like the first thing in the morning or before he goes to bed. And I just have him sit on the toilet and see if he'll go. Um, sometimes he, he does have to go, sometimes he doesn't. And when we're out in public, I've been getting better at just keeping him in underwear throughout the day. And I um, take him to the restroom before we leave the house, once we go or leave wherever we're going. And then I ask him if he has to poop all the time just because sometimes he'll go start peeing and then he'll start pushing and just starts pooping while he's standing. So I always ask him, Daya, be nice and share, please. Share with your sister. Share with her. Um, the only thing that, and what I recently started doing is leaving his like little tiny potty training toilet in our car. So if we're ever driving or out and he's not comfortable pooping or like using the restroom in public, he can always just go to the car and use it. Um, so it's been a very long process. I did not think it would take this long, but I feel like when it comes to potty training, you definitely, like as the parent, you have to be just as ready as your child. And I don't feel like I've been there, um, even though I've been getting him introduced to using the restroom. I definitely have not been ready. Like I, I would have him potty trained at home, and then once we leave the house, I'm not ready for dealing with taking him to the restroom and all that. I definitely do better at having him in underwear when we are out during the weekends when I have my husband because I just feel like it's easier to take him and not have to worry about, do you need to go pee? Okay. And not have to worry about my daughter as well because I don't want to have to be holding her and then trying to get him to use the restroom. So it just seems like a lot. So that's our little update on potty training. All right, this is what they're having for breakfast. We got some cinnamon bread, strawberries and yogurt. Um, I usually just ask them what do they want, Jedediah kind of just told me and then Ayla was pointing for a fruit pouch so I got her one of the, what is it called? I got her a Once Upon a Farm, she really enjoys these over like yogurt sometimes and so I made that for her instead of a yogurt. Also, quick update, I recently just got this little, little booster seat for her. Daya, we're not opening the backyard. I got her this little booster seat. I'm trying to replace this big, obnoxious high chair. Um, it just is always in the way. It's a big inconvenience, like when cleaning, and I just i am tired of it. The little stoppers broke, so it moves. It's really hard to move. So this is our first time trying out this little seat. Hopefully it work. I got a savory seat. Thank you, Jesus, for this food. Allow to nourish our bodies. I think she's distracted by the fact that she's not in her regular seat. The only reason I was doing the bib, she usually doesn't use, use a bib. I did use bibs way more with Jedediah, but he, she doesn't use a bib just because she's always in the high chair. Oh, you need a spoon? Um, she's always in the high chair, and so I don't feel like she needs one because she makes, she drops everything all over her high chair. So I kind of just stopped giving her one. All right, a couple of things. Um, yesterday we went to Costco and we kind of spent a lot of money <clears throat> on some things we just needed. Um, we are going to be replacing our pots and pans that we've had over like several years, almost 10 years of, maybe like eight or nine years of pots and pans that we've had. Um, we bought a 12 piece set that we are going to start using. It's the stainless steel ones. Um, we also got a, I think it's a 16. A 16 piece plate set once again we don't really anytime we ever bought dishes it was just from Pedro and I and then we would buy like plastic wear for like guests but I've just been trying to clean through our dishes and our our house as I showed you guys in the past video um, and put things more sustainable things I don't know um, anyway so I'm gonna be cleaning those and going through those we also got a couple other things at Costco that are already put away but I do want to talk about one more thing <clears throat> um, Ayla uses the Como, I think it is, the Como Tomo bottles, 
and um, obviously they're silicone so we don't warm her bottles up in this so we've always used like a Dr. Brown's glass bottle and I recently broke that one so we were at Target yesterday and I actually found some new ones so and they actually hold more because I think the ones that we had was only a five yeah. ounce bottle and so oh. these are actually the bottles Jedediah used um, when he was growing up but we just used the plastic ones but we've been we warm up her bottle on the stove on, in the heat so we use glass and this is an eight ounce bottle so now that she's drinking six ounces obviously it's gonna get to eight and so I want to have these so now I have these and they actually now come with like the silicone thing which I think is so smart because the glass ones I had for Jedediah did not come with this so we had to like we really never got to use the glass bottle. We only used the glass one to warm it up and then we would pour it into like a plastic one because this is too hot for babies, obviously. But we're not gonna use this, obviously. We're just using it to warm up the bottle. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get started on cleaning this kitchen while they're eating breakfast. And after they're done eating, they usually go play. And so I'm gonna get, take this time to clean, drink some coffee, drink my water, and then start our morning. I'm not sure what we're doing today. Wish. All right, this is like my small chunk of time to try to clean the kitchen up as fast as possible. Originally, I wanted to try to clean those dishes, but I don't think I'm gonna get to it. I'm not gonna put that pressure on myself. Maybe I'll get to it tomorrow. Um, but right now, I need to clean these di these dishes while they're out in the playroom. While they're playing in the playroom. So that's my goal. It's almost 10 o'clock and the dishes are finally done. So they're all clean. I need to wipe down. I need to wipe down the counters. Ayla joined me. She was over here eating a snack, and Jedi was in the playroom most of the time. I did not get to washing those, but like I said, I can do that later or tomorrow. Um, the last thing I would do is sweep, but I'm gonna just pause and I'm going to fill up my water, drink some coffee, and. Get And go play in the playroom with these kids. Jediah, do you need to use the restroom? I need us some coffee this morning. So let me tell you guys what happened. I'm all about homemade like coffee. Like I just enjoy making my own coffee, whether it's cold or hot, extra or not. Like I just really do enjoy drinking coffees from home. For the past month, I've been getting a lot of Starbucks. That is because um, my water filter, like the part of my Keurig where I fill up the water, it cracked. And so I had to pull out my old, uh, literally, ooh, literally old, it's like really old. Like I told you, my dishes are pretty old. Um, my old like coffee pot. And I never got successful with my coffee pot, even back in the day when I used to use it. Even back when I used to use it, like before I even before Keurigs were even a thing, I never got down the ratio. So I would make coffee, but it was never consistent and I didn't really enjoy it. And it wasn't until I had my Keurig that I finally enjoyed my coffee that I was making. And then once I cracked it, I mean, I could st I'm still going to order the replacement plastic piece, but I haven't. Um, but ever since it cracked, I have not been enjoying coffee nearly as much. I, I've been wanting hot coffee, but I can't make it consistently and it's not good. And so, and then I don't want to keep having to buy coffee grounds if I'm going to replace the plastic part. And then, so I've been drinking cold brew. It's a whole, no, it's not been good. And so I'm going to just drink some coffee and hang out in the playroom with my little baby. So I'll see. All right, it's almost 11 o'clock. I have not eaten, so I'm gonna make myself a small little snack. I'm gonna give the kids a little snack, and then they are going to get ready for their nap. I usually put Ayla down about an hour before Jedediah, so 
Typically, depending on what time they wake up, it depends on their naps. They woke up, like I said, by 8, so Ayla's going to be going to sleep in the next 20-ish minutes. And then Jedediah will probably be going to bed by 12. So, once they take a nap, I'm going to be showering. So, I'll just kind of show you guys a little here and there. And that'll be it for our vlog for today. Hey you guys, so I, I told you guys this morning that I had um, pretty much two major goals to comp complete to complete today, which was cleaning the kitchen and, well I think I said cooking dinner, but cooking dinner, cleaning the kitchen, and I guess three would be putting away my clothes and the kids' clothes, and I did complete the dishes. I took out the meat that I'm cooking for dinner tonight. And then I also need to just put the kids' clothes away. But I wanted to tell you guys a little hack that I discovered. Um, I was having a hard time with laundry, right? Not doing it, but mainly putting them away and also overfilling the washer. Mainly with my clothes, okay? Because the kids' clothes are small, so I feel like I can put more in it. But I was taking, so I used to have this like super tall and like somewhat skinny, um, not really skinny, but like wider taller laundry basket and I would wash clothes when it got full sometimes like overly full and I would put the entire basket because I'm not one to separate my clothes unless it's like something specific that needs to be washed by itself or something but I would put the whole thing in there and Pedro every time I did that Pedro was like, would tell me you're putting too much clothes in the washer and so I figured out why it's because I see that basket as one load <laughs> I should not have to separate that into two loads. And if I do, then that means I need to do something about it. One second, okay? You could turn the switch off, okay? One minute, mama. So, what I did was I got rid of that laundry basket and I switched to this one. So, this basket here is shorter. The other one was like this tall. It's a rectangle, which I don't really care. But, you see how it's full? Um, probably tomorrow I will wash my clothes. And it's a small load, like it's super tiny, and I need that because if I can fit a bunch of clothes in my laundry basket, it ain't gonna get separated. So once this gets full, I wash it, and it's super easy to put my clothes away because it's not that many clothes. Um, although, although the kids' clothes are still in a bigger size laundry basket, that's because I put their clothes together, and I don't want to have to do two separate laundry baskets anymore. And then I also just don't mind, like... I mean, I do because it's hard for me to keep them put away, but it's easier for me to get their clothes put away. It just takes me some time. Anyways, that's my hack to keeping your clothes clean. And to Ayla, stop touching stuff, Mama. And to not being overwhelmed and filling up your washer with too much stuff. So, that's it. All right, you guys. Um, I look crazy, but it's because I just washed my hair and I have it in this bun with some product in it but just got out the shower gonna get some clothes put on Jedediah is watching TV for a little bit before his nap and Ava's already asleep so I'm going to just enjoy getting myself some clothes on it's not often that I shower during the morning um, but I didn't shower last night and so therefore here I am Sure. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and end my video here. It's a little after 12. Um, the kids are napping. I'm going to enjoy some sort of snack and watch some YouTube. That's literally my favorite thing to do when they take a nap. Um, a lot of parents will say for you to clean when they're napping, but there's no way I'm doing anything when they're napping. If they're not doing anything, I'm not doing anything. 
This just really helps me take a break while they're asleep, especially when I can get them to sleep at the same time. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and enjoy the rest of my afternoon. We don't have much else planned, so when they wake up, we might have to... I'll probably do lunch and then take them out for a little bit. Um, we do need to pick up some things for dinner tomorrow, especially in case we don't have the car tomorrow. Um, and then we'll probably hit a, hit a park and then we're going to pick up their dad. And so that's going to be the end of our day. I am making burgers and french fries for dinner. And then I'm going to also make chicken alfredo pasta because my kids do not eat burgers. And that pasta will be their lunch tomorrow. So we are going to enjoy the rest of our afternoon. And I'm going to um, enjoy my nap time. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye.